hello guys what's up so today we are going to start a new course by the name of metallurgy and the book that is i am following for this course is introduction to physical metallurgy by sydney h anvo second edition right and this is the cover page of the book introduction to physical metallurgy sydney h anvo second edition right okay so what is actually metallurgy so it is the extraction purification and processing of the metal and its alloys right extraction means that first we get metal from its ores ores naturally are the natural resources from where we get the metal when we get when we extract the metal so there are some impurities in that metal so for that we do purification and after that we do processing and convert it into different shapes or according to our desired uh, need like we change it into uh, our design need, according to our design need right and in this course we will also study about the physical and chemical properties the physical and chemical properties of the metal and its alloys okay so I am getting start from chapter 2 because in chapter 1 there are uh, there are multiple things that you will study in your metallurgical lab as well so uh, we are going to start from chapter 2 uh, and it's metal structure and crystallization so from chapter name you will now having a clear guess that what we are going to study in this chapter about its different about the structure of the metal and crystallization uh, that you will understand uh, as will uh, as we will move further okay so let's get started so first of all the first topic is atomic structure what is actually atomic structure so atomic structure refers to the structure of an atom and we know that the atom is comprom compromised uh, comprom compromise of the uh, neutron proton and electron right and uh, they uh, all combinedly make the structure of the atom right now the uh, the second topic is atomic structure models so based on the arrangement of an atoms we do models we made models right the models are differentiated by the arrangement of the atoms so the first model that is gilbert Livius and arving langmuir model that's the first model of the atom so what this model say that the proton and neutron will make the nucleus like in center there will be protons and neutrons as we all know that and the electron will occupy fixed position this means that the electrons will not move but they will having a fixed position around the nucleus right and the electron arrange at the corners of the concentric cubes so the electrons will be arranged at the corners of the cubes in this concentric cube what does it or what does concentric cube mean the cubes that having same center right so let's take example of the sodium that is having atomic number 23 having 11 proton and 12 neutrons and this is the model now we can see that um, as I told you that uh, in this model we will be having a concentric uh, concentric cubes so we can see that this cube the blue one and the green one having the same center so this one red one is the nucleus having proton and neutrons and uh, the at the outside we will, at the each corner we can see that we have we are having electrons right so they are they are fixed and they are not moving right and they these are the concentric cubes okay so the second and the most famous model you all guys must know it uh, what is actually nail pore model is that we have studied in our high schools uh, so it all it also its nucleus will be uh, consist of uh, proton and neutrons but in this the electron will be not fixed but electron will revolve in circular and elliptical orbits right that the electron will be moving in our orbits and it is the present working model as we know that our solar system is the best example of uh, this model right like uh, all the planets eight planets are revolving around the sun uh, let's take the same example so you will uh, betterly differentiate between all these models so this is the nail pore model right proton and neutrons in nucleus and these are the orbits right 
and the electrons are re revolving around the nucleus and these are having concentric cubes uh, sorry concentric circles right uh, concentric circle mean circle having the same center right uh, let's move toward our third model that is wave mechanics model what is wave mechanical model it is also known as quantum mechanical model that is developed in the 20th century and the purpose of this model was to overcome the drawbacks or the shortcomings of the previous classical models right in this we in this model the electron is treated as a wave and this model helped to find the probability or the probability of an electron in particular region around the nucleus for example uh, if i want to find the probability or if i want that uh, how much uh, there are the chances that the electron will exist in that region so for that we use this model right and we use a mathematical function called wave function to determine different parameter of electron of that electron um, and these parameter include energy momentum and position of the electron right it also introduces the concept of energy levels and we know that energy level are determined by either its geometry uh, or configuration or these both right uh, so for this i am taking the same example so this is the wave mechanic model look like right there are a cloud of electrons and this is the nucleus so this is the wave mechanical model um so in further video we will uh, move on thank you